Welcome to our journey through the avian architecture of the world. Today we explore the most fascinating bird nests, each a marvel of nature's engineering. From the grandest communal structures to the most delicately woven cradles, the world of birds offers an unparalleled display of instinct, skill and artistry. These are not mere shelters, they are bespoke homes, meticulously designed and constructed to protect the next generation, a testament to the enduring power of evolution and the remarkable diversity of life on our planet. I've always been captivated by the sheer ingenuity that birds display, transforming the simplest of materials, a twig, a leaf, a strand of spider silk into structures of incredible complexity and functionality. Each nest tells a story, a narrative of survival, courtship and parental care, reflecting the unique challenges and opportunities of its builder's environment. It's a world where physics, engineering and artistry intertwine in the most beautiful and often surprising ways, revealing secrets of adaptation that have been millions of years in the making. So join me, Hamza Hassan, as we embark on this exploration. We will venture across continents, from dense rainforests to arid deserts, from towering treetops to secluded marshes, to witness firsthand the architectural prowess of ten extraordinary avian builders. Prepare to be amazed by the resourcefulness, dedication and sheer brilliance of these feathered architects as they construct homes that are as diverse and wondrous as life itself. This is a celebration of nature's builders and the incredible homes they create. Our first architect is a true artist, the male bowerbird of Australia and New Guinea. His creation, the bower, is not a nest for raising young, but rather an elaborate stage, a theatrical installation designed for a singular purpose, to woo a discerning female. With an eye for aesthetics that would rival any human designer, he meticulously constructs his bower, often avenues or maypole-like structures, from twigs and grasses. But the construction is merely the beginning of his endeavor, for it is the decoration that truly sets his work apart, transforming a simple structure into a gallery of found objects. He seeks out items of specific colors, perhaps iridescent beetle wing cases, vibrant berries, bleached snail shells, or, in areas touched by human presence, even discarded pieces of colorful plastic or glass. Each object is carefully chosen and placed with extraordinary precision. This elaborate display is a testament to the male's fitness, his ability to gather resources and his sophisticated cognitive abilities. Some species even arrange their collections to create forced perspectives, making certain objects appear larger or smaller, an optical illusion to further impress the visiting females. She will inspect several bowers, critically assessing the quality of construction and the allure of the decorations before making her choice. It is a remarkable example of sexual selection driving the evolution of complex behaviours and elaborate artistry in the animal kingdom. The bower stands as a monument to his dedication, a vibrant, meticulously curated invitation to mate, showcasing an almost obsessive attention to detail. Next, we journey to Africa and Asia to witness the unparalleled craftsmanship of the weaver birds. These small, often brightly colored birds are renowned for their ability to construct some of the most intricate and robust nests in the avian world. Using primarily long strands of grass, reeds or palm fronds, the male weaver bird demonstrates extraordinary dexterity, meticulously tying, knotting and weaving these materials together. The resulting structures are often globular or flask-shaped, suspended precariously from the tips of branches, frequently over water, offering a formidable defense against terrestrial predators like snakes or monkeys. The entrance is typically a narrow downward-facing tube, further enhancing the security of the precious eggs and chicks within. The strength and intricacy of these woven homes are truly astonishing. Some can support the weight of an adult human without breaking. Many weaver bird species are highly social and it's not uncommon to see a single tree festooned with dozens, sometimes hundreds of these hanging nests creating a bustling avian apartment complex. Each nest is a testament to the male's skill and diligence, as females will often select a mate based on the quality of his nest building prowess. He may even build several nests in a season each a masterpiece of natural engineering, demonstrating a tireless commitment to providing a safe and secure environment for the continuation of his lineage. 
From the individual artistry of the weaver bird, we now turn our attention to a truly monumental feat of collaborative construction created by the sociable weavers of Southern Africa. These remarkable birds build colossal communal nests, structures so vast they can sometimes resemble giant haystacks suspended in trees or draped over utility poles. These are among the largest bird-built structures on Earth, capable of housing hundreds of individuals, sometimes over 400 birds across several generations. The sheer scale is breathtaking, with some nests weighing several tons and remaining occupied for decades, continuously expanded and maintained by the resident community. This is not just a collection of individual nests, it is a single integrated superstructure. Within this massive, thatched edifice are numerous individual nesting chambers, each serving as a private apartment for a breeding pair or a roosting spot for non-breeding birds. The thick, insulating layers of dry grasses provide a remarkable degree of thermal regulation, keeping the interior cooler during the scorching desert days and warmer during the cold nights a crucial adaptation in their harsh, arid environment. This shared living arrangement offers significant benefits, including enhanced predator detection and collective defense. The sociable weaver's nest is a stunning example of cooperation in the animal kingdom. A sprawling, self-sustaining city built by birds demonstrating an incredible level of social organization and architectural ambition. Chapter four, the tailor bird's delicate stitch craft. Our journey now takes us to the tropical regions of Asia where we find a bird with a skill so refined it earns its very name, the tailor bird. This diminutive avian artisan employs a technique akin to human sewing to create its unique and wonderfully camouflaged nest. Selecting one or more large, pliable leaves still attached to a living plant, the tailor bird uses its sharp, slender beak as a needle. It pierces a series of precise holes along the edges of the leaves. Then, with remarkable dexterity, it draws threads of plant fiber, spider silk, or even fine strands of wool through these perforations, effectively stitching the leaves together to form a deep, purse-like cradle. This is not a crude joining. The stitches are often neat and evenly spaced, a testament to the bird's innate skill. The interior of this leafy pouch is then lined with soft materials like plant down, fine grasses, or animal fur, creating a snug and secure chamber for its precious eggs and young. The choice of living leaves provides excellent camouflage, making the nest incredibly difficult for predators to spot amongst the dense foliage. This ingenious method of construction showcases an extraordinary level of precision and problem solving. The tailor bird doesn't just build a nest, it manipulates its environment, co-opting living parts of a plant to create a perfectly concealed and protected nursery, a delicate masterpiece of natural embroidery hidden in plain sight. Chapter 5, The Hummingbird's Miniature Marvels. We now scale down our perspective dramatically to appreciate one of the smallest yet most exquisitely crafted nests in the avian world, that of the hummingbird. These tiny energetic marvels found throughout the Americas construct nests that are true masterpieces of miniaturization and camouflage. Often no larger than a walnut or a thimble, these delicate cups are typically built by the female alone, a task requiring immense patience and precision. She meticulously gathers soft plant down, fine moss and wisps of animal fur, binding them together with the incredibly strong and elastic strands of spider silk. This use of spider silk is crucial as it allows the nest to stretch and expand as the chicks grow, ensuring they are never too tightly constrained. The exterior of the nest is often adorned with tiny pieces of lichen, moss or flakes of bark, carefully attached to provide superb camouflage making the structure blend seamlessly with the branch or fork where it is built. This intricate disguise renders the nest almost invisible to the searching eyes of predators. The result is a lightweight, yet surprisingly resilient structure, a perfect example of efficient design where every tiny component serves a critical purpose. The hummingbird's nest is a testament to the fact that even the smallest of creatures can achieve extraordinary feats of engineering, creating a safe and expandable haven for their even tinier offspring. Chapter 6, The Horned Coots Lakeside Fortresses. Our next architect takes us to the high altitude lakes of the Andes in South America, where the Horned Coot engages in a truly monumental construction effort, unlike any other bird we've encountered. 
To protect its nest from the harsh elements and potential predators in these exposed environments, the horned coot builds enormous platforms, not from twigs or grasses, but from stones. Yes, yeah, stones. Pairs of coots work tirelessly, carrying pebbles and small rocks one by one in their beaks from the lake bed or shoreline to a chosen site in shallow water. Over time, these efforts accumulate into a substantial artificial island, a solid stone mound rising above the water's surface. These stone platforms can be truly colossal, sometimes containing several tons of material and measuring several meters across. Atop this self-made stone island, the coots then construct a more conventional nest of aquatic vegetation. This elevated, robust foundation serves multiple purposes. It keeps the nest dry, protects it from the lapping waves and fluctuating water levels common in these alpine lakes, and provides a significant deterrent to land-based predators. The sheer labor involved in transporting such a vast quantity of stone is staggering, a remarkable display of determination and engineering foresight, creating a veritable fortress in the water for their family. Now we turn to a bird whose very name speaks of its architectural specialty, the woodpecker. Found across wooded habitats worldwide, these birds are nature's master carpenters, equipped with powerful chisel-like beaks, reinforced skulls and specialized tongues. Their primary construction involves excavating cavities within the trunks or branches of trees. This is no haphazard pecking. A woodpecker carves a remarkably clean, round entrance hole, leading to a gourd-shaped chamber within the solid wood. The precision is astounding, often resulting in a perfectly symmetrical opening and a smooth-walled interior carefully cleared of wood chips which are meticulously removed. This cavity provides a highly secure and well-insulated home, protected from the elements and many predators that cannot access such a deep, narrow enclosure. The creation of such a nest can take several weeks of persistent, arduous work, a testament to the bird's strength and endurance. These expertly carved homes are so valuable that once vacated by the original builders, they are often eagerly reused by a host of other cavity nesting species, such as owls, tits, and even some small mammals, highlighting the woodpecker's crucial role as an ecosystem engineer, providing essential shelter for a wider community. Our journey now takes us to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America to marvel at the spectacular constructions of the Oropendula. These striking birds, often with vibrant yellow tails, are renowned for their enormous pendulous nests that hang like giant woven gourds from the high branches of towering trees. The female Oropendula is the sole architect, skillfully weaving long strands of plant fibers, vines and grasses into these impressive structures which can reach lengths of up to two meters or over six feet. Each nest is a masterpiece of suspended engineering designed to sway gently in the breeze. Oropendulas are colonial nesters and a single large tree can become an astonishing spectacle adorned with dozens, sometimes over a hundred, of these elongated pouch-like nests creating what looks like a forest chandelier. This colonial lifestyle, often in trees that also host aggressive wasp or bee nests, provides a degree of collective security against predators such as monkeys and snakes. The sheer effort involved in constructing these lengthy, intricate nests high in the canopy is remarkable. Each one a safe, elongated cradle designed to protect the eggs and young from the many dangers of the rainforest floor and canopy predators. We now venture to the vast shallow wetlands and salt pans that are home to one of the world's most iconic birds, the flamingo. Their nesting strategy is perfectly adapted to these often harsh and ephemeral environments. Flamingos construct their nests from mud, silt and small stones, meticulously scraped together and molded using their large, specialized beaks and feet. The result is a distinctive cone-shaped mound, typically around 30 to 40 centimeters high, resembling a miniature volcano with a shallow depression at its peak. This elevated design is crucial as it lifts the single precious egg above the ground level, protecting it from flooding and the intense heat radiating from the sun-baked mudflats. Flamingos are highly social birds, nesting in vast, dense colonies that can number in the thousands or even tens of thousands. The sight of such a colony, a sea of pink birds tending to their individual mud turrets, is truly breathtaking. Each pair diligently sculpts and maintains their nest, 
ensuring it provides a stable and secure platform for incubation and the early days of their chick's life. This simple yet effective architectural solution allows them to thrive in challenging wetland habitats where few other large birds could successfully breed, a testament to their unique adaptations and communal efforts. Our final avian architect is a master of aquatic living, the elegant great crested grebe found across Europe, Asia and Australasia. These birds construct their nests not on land nor suspended from trees but floating directly on the water's surface. They build a platform of aquatic plants, reeds and rushes, often anchoring it loosely to submerged vegetation or overhanging reeds to prevent it from drifting too far. This creates a buoyant, somewhat waterlogged raft that rises and falls with the water level, providing a surprisingly stable base for their eggs. The nest material itself is often damp, which helps with humidity regulation for the incubating eggs. These floating nurseries are typically situated amongst dense reed beds or other emergent vegetation, offering excellent concealment from both aerial and terrestrial predators. Both male and female grebes participate in the construction and maintenance of their floating home, continually adding material throughout the incubation period to keep it robust and above water. This ingenious adaptation allows them to exploit aquatic environments fully, raising their young in relative safety, hidden within the labyrinthine waterways of marshes and lakes. The sight of a grebe serenely incubating its eggs or carrying its striped chicks on its back amidst this floating haven is a perfect illustration of nature's resourcefulness. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the world of bird nests. Each of these structures is a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of our feathered friends. From the bowerbird's artistic displays to the sociable weaver's colossal communes and the hummingbird's miniature marvels, we have witnessed an extraordinary spectrum of architectural solutions, each perfectly tailored to the builder's needs and environment. These are not just random piles of twigs and leaves. They are the result of millions of years of evolution, finely honed instincts, and remarkable problem-solving skills. The diversity of these nests underscores the sheer richness of life on our planet and the incredible ways in which animals have adapted to thrive in almost every conceivable habitat. As we've seen, a nest is far more than a home. It is a nursery, a fortress, a courtship stage and a legacy. It reminds us that the natural world is filled with intricate designs and complex behaviours, often hidden in plain sight, waiting to be observed and understood. The drive to create, to build and to nurture is a powerful force, beautifully exemplified by these avian architects. I hope this exploration has deepened your appreciation for these remarkable creatures and the vital habitats they depend upon. The world of birds is a constant source of wonder, revealing new marvels to those who take the time to look closely. There is always more to discover, more to learn and more to be astonished by in the grand theatre of nature. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of nature and may you always find beauty and inspiration in the wild.